What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about how to use Google search engine like a pro. If you wanna know something about that, stay tuned. Alright guys, we all know Google search website. This is probably the best search engine out there and it's great, but do you know that you can make your search results better, faster and more tailored only for you? I just want to show you a few examples how you can improve your search abilities right now. It's very simple, nothing complicated, so let's go. First of all, if you're looking for exact words, put whatever you are trying to search in quotes. So let's put, for example, John white for example sooner or later you will notice that you will start getting results for some other John for example John black but the reason why Google is showing you this page is because there is white there is a surname white on the same page you might have result like a John black and a Daisy white for example if you want to avoid results like this because John White is quite popular you could use again quotes so so from now on you will get only results for in this case John White this is very handy when you look for something very specific like uh, like for example spare part or a specific historic event another example if you use minus um, you could exclude something from the search results. For example, I want to exclude footballer because I'm not looking for John White, the footballer. So let's put this minus footballer. So from now on, I will be looking for John White, but not the footballer, any other John White. What else? I might look for someone uh, from someone that lived in United States. In United States. So I will add. USA or something like that. So from now on I will get Results for the pages that they are talking about John White not the footballer, but someone from United States um, So another example instead of just USA you could put United States also in quotes So you probably notice you can combine all those methods in one so you will have a perfect result this is very freaking handy uh, what else maybe you are looking for something specific like uh, file type uh, many documents are in PDF format format so maybe looking for a document like this is a good idea for example you want to know something about um, Six Sigma Kaizen activities stuff like that so you will Put something like kaizen file type pdf so every result here will take me to the pdf file so let's have a look at this what the heck is that root cause analysis and stuff like that yeah interesting and, and again you can uh, you can add something you can uh, exclude some words etc etc what else maybe you remember an article in the New York Times for example so you wanna have results about the situation in Brazil let's say from only New York Times so New York Times let's have a look what what site they are using because you need to know exact Site. So New York Times is using uh, NewYorkTimes.com. So you are looking for an article about Brazil on site NewYorkTimes.com. Actually, I made a mistake here. It sh shouldn't be on site. Should be just site. Uh, but it's still working. Uh, Google is smart. <laughs> Um, so yeah, from now on you will get only articles from New York Times website about the Brazil. And again, you can add something, you can exclude something. Also, you remember that article was somewhere between, let's say, 2020, 2021. So you can add this. 2020, 
2021 and now you need to use those two dots 2022 and now you will have uh, articles about the brazil only on new york times website between those two dates another very handy thing is uh, something called in url i will just give you a small example if you go to my website uh, the title of this front page is here tech news so every site that you are visiting has a title and you wanna look for a website that have in title let's say house renovation and again from now on you will have uh, sites that I have in title house renovation the spelling in Google search is not that super important so you might notice some uh, results will have house renovations with s at the end house renovating so Google is very smart is predicting what you might be looking for uh, but again if you want to be really really specific you can put those in quotes and you will have exact thing renovating uh, renovating a house in the title what else I can tell you something about the movies you're looking for some information about let's say movie smile you just put the movies and you have all information about that obviously you can obviously you can use different method to do that but this will be more specific so straight away you have access to the cast you can uh, see some trailers etc etc so so if you know those search techniques the chance of success of uh, finding what you're looking for is 100 percent interesting fact i'm gonna tell you now hackers these days they are using they are not really hacking they are using those techniques they might be looking for payroll information so they will use those techniques like in url and payrolls and if the website is not secure properly they might end up having nice results of someone's full names heck knows maybe addresses maybe even something more like a social security numbers stuff like that so yeah back in the day simple knowing of those techniques and you are a hacker <laughs> maybe one more link what it is if you are interested if someone is mentioning about your site uh, you can use this technique to to find out in my case i want to know if someone is mentioning about my website my website is hardwin82.com let's see if someone is talking about me okay so first result is one of my posts so obviously there will be link to my website okay um, YouTube 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 Facebook I have an account on Facebook okay Instagram I have a account over there this is all my accounts okay okay TikTok all right okay at guard okay someone mentioned about my site in 2022 let's have a look yeah so i just found a website that is talking about me somewhere on the net let's say you want to buy a camera uh, to record your videos on youtube you want to start a channel and you want to have something to you know to use you could put something like best camera for YouTube videos or best camera for vlogging so now you will have results of both of those things uh, you can also put that in quotes and you will have a result for all of those two things from the net so you might end up having an article about best camera for youtube videos or best camera for vlogging uh, they are basically making the same thing so looking at those two subjects in the same time is a good idea all right guys that's gonna be it i hope you you found the video interesting and from now on you will know how to use those techniques especially if you are a student looking for information is a key to to freaking everything uh, so and also i'm gonna tell you something a, a secret be careful with copying someone else homework because 
teachers these days uh, they will use quotes they will take a few sentences from your assignment and yet they will place them on Google and they will find out if you just copy this from someone so yeah be careful with that all right guys like always if you have, if you found that interesting consider subscribing don't forget to smash that like button but only if you want and i will see you next time thank you bye